the famous saying that we all know that shiva sarvadiyam vishnu hu vishnu sarvadiyam shiva ha echoes in this 58th day of our talk yes we are completing half a century today that's nice to know and uh, today's verse goes uh, like this samartha chiya sevaka vakrapahe asa sarva bhumandale ko na ahe jayachi leela varnite lokatin he rupekshi khadha rama dhasa bhimani maha sankati sodile devajene prathape bhale agala sarva gune jayate smare shaila jashula pani rupekshi khadha rama dhasa bhimani so very clearly here it says nrupekshi khadha ramadhasa abhimani oh my dear friends understand that lord shri ram who is the supporter of his devotees and who always feel proud of his devotees shall take good care and will never let down people who trust or believe him. this is the assurance given in this particular purt now <clears throat> it says maha sankati sodile devati me so here he says when the gods were in deep trouble misery sodile devayane who rescued them who released them from their danger do you have any idea so here we should think that sri ram has come down with all the gods when they even said that the bhumandalais became a house of sinners and unable to tolerate and underneath the bhumata was also crying and raising its hands and praying to lord vishnu then you know vishnu gives a blessing saying that i'll come down as sri ram and solve all your problems most of you have said it rama and you know this story and want to see that how rama kills all the demons right from his childhood from tataka up to ravana we have seen you know that so that great ram he says prathape bhale agala sarva guni see so such powerful mighty unique and virtuous personality who will forget or who will not remember and because of that power and might you could rescue the gods from the clutches of the demons isn't it then he says jayate smare shaila jashula pane here yeah, of who remembered shailaja and chulapan who is shailaja shailaja is none other than the daughter of himalaya that is parvati and chulapani a person who holds a trident in his hand he is a chulapani the lord shiva this is even they remember him every time in fact there is a story also which reminds me to say how lord shiva adores shri ram for his pure very honest non hiding personality when shri ram was born in ayodhya for dasharatha and kausalya through an yagya you know yagya prasada you know the story 
then shiva becomes irresistible there in kailas and he wants to come down to seek the blessings and the darshan and to have the past time of sri ram here so he comes down from kailas to ayodhya as sadhu baba you know sadhu baba how they would be they would have smeared ashes all over matted logs and they and all along with the childhood friend kagabushandi and near the palace he was stopped because there they thought this sadhu baba who is like this if he comes inside what will happen to the future prince he might be infected or he might be taken away he might be made into a vairagi so he says oh oh you are not allowed then disappointed is sadhu baba along with his friend kagabushandi they just walk down to the river banks of sariu and sit there and starts to pray for god shri ram and you know the karuna mai shri ram here in palace he starts to cry the baby starts to cry the child starts to cry everybody tries to cajole him but no the cry is not decreasing rather it's going up and up to higher pitches and tones and kausalya gets worried hey what is happening to my child and enquires here and there one of kausalya's friend that is saki as we say she says amma maybe an evil eye has fallen on the child and it is because of that the child is crying and kausalya says if there is anybody who can remove the evil eye kindly bring them and then they run everywhere they bring the priest they bring the physician mantrik tantrik everybody will come try but nothing happens and the saki of kausalya searching here and there she reaches the banks of sariu and finds his sadhu baba along with kagabu shandi and she asks request sadhu baba ji do you know how to remove an evil eye and she explains the situation about sri ram and he says yes i know and both of them kagabushandi and sadhu baba they will be taken with lot of reverence and respect into the palace and as he enters the palace as the child looks at sadhu baba the child starts crying and kausalya yes, relieved from that agony and sadhu baba requests kausalya to give the child so to perform certain rituals so that even in future no evil like can fall on the child and takes sri ram onto his lap fondles him and pays his respect and kagabushandi touches the feet of sri ram and takes his forehead and places at his feet and prays this is how it happens see who was thrown away were taken as a royal guest inside that is the power of prayer karuna mai shri ram so jayate smare shailaja shula pani this is the story of <coughs> where lord shiva ji also come down to see shri ram you know looking at the child shri ram itself is a pleasure a embodiment of 64 qualities and virtues Krishna is also very attractive I tell you but Krishna has the tinge of mischievous in his smile all through whereas Ram has a gambhir atwa in his face innocent simplicity humbleness ah it's a pleasure isn't it next it says samartha chiya sevaka vakra pahe asa sarva bhumandale kona hai o o o ise samartha chiya all powerful is sevaka the servant vakra crooked pahe sees asa is there any person to have a crooked eye crooked eye and see this powerful man anybody in this asa sarva bhumandale kona hai 
anywhere in this any corner of this bhumandala is there any servant who can antagonize or is there any person who can antagonize or have a crooked eye on this person one way or can there exist any crooked mind in this universe when this omnipotent and omnipresent wise Sri Ram is there and where does he stay? Sri Ram is not somewhere outside I tell you Sri Ram is in our own heart which we are supposed to knock and look into we have seen in a lot of meditation classes earlier in other verses as to how it resides in us Isn't it? Think for a moment. Ask and think. And here he continues, Jayaji Leela Varnite Loja Thinhi Loka Thinhi Sorry. He says, Jayaji Leela whose playfulness Varnite described Loka Worldly Thinhi means in the three worlds. So here he says his valor is renowned and described in all the three worlds. The name and fame of Sri Ram is spread in all the three worlds. But how many of us know Sri Ram in reality? Is the question everybody says Ram 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 but baby that Ram. How many of us have seen that Ram in reality? And does Ram means the son of Dasharada and Kausalya? Is he Ram? Ayodhya Vasi, Ayodhya Pati, is he Ram? Sita Pati, is he Ram? Lakshmana Brata, is he Ram? Kodanda Hasta, is he Ram? A person with no, Kabir wonderfully says in one of his Dohas Ram Ram Sab Jagati Bakane Adi Ram Koi Birla Jane. He says everybody in this universe keeps saying Ram Ram Ram. But he says Adi Ram Koi Birla Jane. Nobody in this universe knows who the Adi Ram is. Adi Purusha. Who is that? In fact, even in this uh, morning's Vedic chanting class, we have seen Purusha Yeveda Gam Sarva. Yet Kinchit Jagatyam Jagat. So here, who is Adi Ram? Adhiram is that supreme personality which existed before the birth of Ram in birth of Ram in Ayodhya. That pure consciousness, that true nature in which the whole cosmos comes into existence. How many of us know that Adira? Think. The moment we say Ram, we remember one photograph, a painting that has been done by a painter or a printer into our mind, whichever we have seen. If there are 10 people from 10 corners and the world, and if I say Sri Ram, all 10 individuals think of Ram in a different form. As for the painting or the photograph that they have seen or visualized. It may be Patabi Ram or Kalyana Ram. Yes, we don't know. But how many of us can think of Adi Ram? That which is beyond the omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient. In fact, if possible, the link to this Kabir Doha will be given in the description for you to follow and understand. So of course, to start with, we need an Alambana, we catch hold of this Ram and from this we have to transcend to that form of 
that supreme personality which is beyond so stay put in the adi ram hood or form and for today we'll just conclude here thanks for being with